What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog. Back with a New York Yankee video. Before I start screaming and yelling a few things, hit the like button. Helps out the video huge. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notifications when I'm going to go off like this. Also, turn your headphones down if you're a headphone user so I don't blow your eardrums out because I might scream. Why not? I don't really know how I'm going to react today. I don't. The Yankees are depressing is what they are. This team has now lost 11 out of its last 13 games. Five straight series. They've scored one freaking run in three games. One run in three games. 27 innings. They have one run because of the analytical bullshit that goes on. Oh, batting average don't matter. Who the hell said batting average doesn't matter? Who? How the hell else are you going to score runs unless you get hits? Because you can't hit home runs every time you're at the plate. And it's pretty damn obvious because if this team doesn't hit home runs, they don't freaking score. Trash ass Blaine Cashman, fire his ass. Get him on the first thing smoking and I got a pair of cement shoes for you too, buddy. I'll throw your ass in the Hudson River with them. I'm sick and tired of this shit. I really am. For years and years and years and years, they throw money, good money after bad, bad money after good, whatever the hell the saying is, all the time. You bring in a $25 million trash can in Josh Donaldson and you hit his ass clean up. The guy's hitting 220 with zero power. Zero. He's a zero. He's a loser. You're all losers. A bunch of freaking gutless, soft bitches. Gutless. You're getting your ass kicked. Have some freaking fire. Have some fight. Show something. Nope. I'm going to hang my head. And our dumbass manager, Aaron Boone, puts this line about there. Glaber Torres is absolutely useless. As useless as a screen door in a submarine. Let's lead him off. That makes sense. Yeah, let's hit Josh Donaldson freaking fourth. And this ass clown... Had the nerve, the nerve. I had to get Marvin Gonzalez in there. Give us a little spark. <laughs> uh, Marvin Gonzalez is going to give the Yankees a Marvin Gonzalez couldn't give you a spark if you gave him a box full of fireworks and a can of gasoline. That's your spark? What about all these kids in the minors? Aaron Hicks is, ju- I mean, I don't even know what to say excrement the man is human excrement he's garbage he's trash he sucks he can't field he can't run he can't hit he has no power what the hell is he there for you gave the guy seven freaking years for what you got Esteban Florial down in the minors tearing the cover off the wall why is he not up here even if he can't hit he can field he can run you want to give a spark you want to inject some life into the team bring the kids up Get rid of these freaking overpaid, soft-ass, gutless divas. They're losers. They're losers. Oh, it's all hunky-dory. It's all fun and games, and you're winning. But as soon as you start losing, you just go and cry in the corner. That's what you do. I feel so bad for the pitchers. Because every freaking night, they go out there. And they know in the back of their head, if I make one mistake, if some ass clown behind me makes an error, which they made two errors tonight, if a guy makes a bad throw, makes a misplay in center field, and I give up one run, I lost. The pitchers can't do anything. The pitchers got to walk around in eggshells. Every game. How the hell can you put up with this for 13 years? 13 freaking years has been the same crap. Never bring up the prospects. They bury their prospects in the minor leagues or they trade them away and they give these overpaid marginal ball players the time. Aaron Hicks wasn't even marginal. Esteban Floreal was one of their top prospects. They gave Hicks seven years. Now you got Volpe and Peraza down there. They give IKF. They trade for IKF. 
I don't understand. And I don't want to hear about, oh, when Stanton comes back and when DJ comes back. No, you can't just turn it on like that. This team is what it is. How the hell this ball club won games in the beginning of the year is beyond me. Because this team sucks. And I'm pretty sure we all knew the team sucked going into the year. How they got off to the start they did, I have no clue. I have no idea how this team was 63 and 28. I think that's what they were at one point. I know they were 69 and 30 because now they're what? 71 and 44, 72 and 44. <laughs> Every night's the same shit. Every night, nobody scores. Every night, nobody hits. Every night, nobody fields. This is the worst freaking brand of baseball. And, and Major League Baseball wonders why the ratings continue to plummet and why you have no attendance because of your analytical bull snot and constantly nothing but home runs. That is freaking boring baseball. Nobody wants to go watch a team swing for the fences for three hours, strike out 14 times, and get three hits. Nobody wants to watch that. And then on top of it, what do you do? You put games on Amazon Prime in the local area. Now, I have Amazon Prime, but a lot of people don't. And you shouldn't have to pay. You should not have to pay to watch your local team play baseball. Why in the hell would you do that? Whose bright idea is that at Major League Baseball? It sucks. And I'll tell you why. Because I absolutely love baseball. I love old school baseball. I love the way it used to be played. That's why on YouTube, I watch games from the 80s all the time. My man, Vin Scully, God rest his soul, and Joel Garajola gave me say game in a week. I listen to Ralph Kiner and Fran Healy when they used to uh, cover the Mets on WWOR9, WWOR9 uh, back in the 80s. WPIX Channel 11, New York City, Bill White, Phil Rizzuto, Spencer Ross. The good old days when they actually played baseball, when you actually got on base, when you actually hit for high average, when striking out was a source of embarrassment for a player, when hitting 200 was looked down upon. Nowadays, guys hit 200, it's like the average. They don't give a damn. They're all overpaid non-ball players. These guys are not ball players. They're a bunch of losers. There's not one winning guy in this team. I feel so bad for Aaron Judge. You want to talk about a guy that's a winner? Aaron Judge. He can't do it all. He can't do it every night. If, if I was an opposing team, I would just give Aaron Judge the Barry Bonds I would never pitch to that guy. Never. I would never throw him a strike. Now, they do throw him strikes because he strikes out a lot. He always has. That's part of it. But the guy's massive power. He's hitting three. He's in a slump, but he just went under 300. 46 home runs, 100 RBIs. The man is on a pace of one of the all-time greatest power-hitting displays in the history of the game. Nobody else in this team steps up. Nobody. Because they're losers. Losing ball players, Losing attitude. Do you think Jeter's Yankees would put up with this crap? They would have some kind of players meeting. They would get it together and they'd start winning games. This team don't care. Like I said, they're gutless. They have zero guts. They're soft. They are soft as baby doo-doo. They really are. Because, like I said, they just go out without a whimper. There's no fight. There's no guts. There's no courage. There's nothing. They go in. They take their four swings. They strike out two, three times a night. They hit 200. They throw the ball all over the field. And then they go collect a massive paycheck, get in their nice car and go home, and they don't give a damn. That's the problem today. All these players make all this damn money, and they do not care about winning. They do not care about baseball. They do not care about the team. All they care about is them damn selves. That's it. That's it. There's no team anymore. And Brian Cashman put this collection of stiffs together. He needs to be fired. Plain and simple. The dude needs to be fired. Absolute pathetic trash. You should be embarrassed to call yourself Yankees. You people do not, outside of Aaron Judge, none of you deserve to wear the pinstripes. Not in that offense anyway. None of you. You should be ashamed to call yourself Yankees. And that fan, you know, nobody even shows up at the park anymore. I don't blame them. I see people walking out of the stadium. You give up a three-word homer in the first inning, and everybody in the stadium knows the game's over. 
in the first inning. I don't even know what to say anymore. I really don't. It's just embarrassing. It pisses me off to no end. I don't know. I've never, never in my life seen a team be so great and then completely fall off the face of the earth. Never. Never. They're the worst team in baseball right now. They went from being the best team in baseball for three months to the worst team in baseball over the last four weeks. And honestly, I think this team that they put out there, that's the real Yankees. The ones at the beginning of the year played over their head. So, I don't know where this team's going. Luckily for them, nobody in the division can win, so they keep their big lead. But unless this team finds a way to do another 180 and get back to where they were at the beginning of the year, they're going nowhere again. Anyway, 11 minutes. Sorry. Again, if you made it this far, you're a trooper. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Share with a Yankee friend. Share the video. Subscribe. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers. And like I said, share with your buddies. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Yankee regime and what the hell is going on right now. That's all I got in this video. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Bandy Dizzle, out. Peace.